All right, guys. The time has come. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I am a little bit nervous about this, uh, this step that I'm taking. My endo thought it was a stupid idea. I think it's kind of a stupid idea, but uh, I've never been one to shy away from a challenge, and I love experimenting. So here we go. Today, right now, marks the moment that I switch out this, my insulin pump, for this. MDI, going from insulin pump to multiple daily injections. Now, of course, I'll be taking Lantus in about 15 minutes. That'll be interesting. Uh, Hemolog, I, I won't be using this pen exactly. I'm actually going to be using the in-pen, which it acts like a pump. It, it calculates for you, but I will be doing pens. So I will not be doing injection sites anymore, which is nuts to think about. I'm going to be taking this guy off. Got my sight right there. Oh boy! Did not think I would be going into this test with this number. Uh, I just got back from a run, if you can't tell. A little bit sweaty. Um, going into the test, quick thing. And I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna do a couple parts, right? I'm taking you through the journey. This is part one. Uh, I assume it'll be a part two, three. We'll see how far it goes. But I hope to go into this test with better numbers. Unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately also. Uh, today was my wife's graduation from a master's degree program. She's now a master's in occupational therapy, which is incredible. We went out to dinner with her family and my family to celebrate. Unfortunately, did not calculate dinner quite correctly. Ended up at like 2.20. Uh, just got back from a run, trying to bring it down. I'm slanted down at 182 right now, hoping to bring it closer to in range. Reason I tell you this, switching from a pump to MDI, you have one thing that's gonna throw everything off if you get it wrong, your basal. Your basal is the first step. It is the foundation of your diabetes management. And with your pump, you're getting basal fed to you 24 hours a day through the pump. It's fast-acting insulin delivered every five-ish minutes, I'd say. Thing is, that insulin, fast-acting insulin, Humalog, lasts roughly two to three hours in your system. So if you wanted to make a change in your basal insulin, if you made a change right now, you would see effects from that change roughly two to three hours in the future. So I spoke to my endo about this at length and said, hey, I want to confirm this with you. If I take my pump off two hours before I want to give this guy my Lantus shot, Will that be appropriate? She said, absolutely. That way all the fast acting insulin is out of your system and you can rely solely on the Lantus shot. Now, problem is, I was at 220, like I told you. And uh, that's not a great... Yes! <laughs> if you did not hear that sound, that was my Dexcom beeping at me because I am dropping. So that's an arrow down, which means uh, I'm headed towards the right direction. Uh, I'm probably like 150 now, which is awesome. I can start the test in, uh, in range and not have to worry about correction factors before bed. It's always a scary thing. Um, so, back to what I was saying. I take my pump off, I'm supposed to take it off roughly two hours before I give my Lantus shot. That way the majority of the insulin that was being given through my pump has exited my system and I know for sure it's just the Lantus and I don't risk overlapping the pump basal and my new basal, which would then send me into a low blood sugar, potentially while I'm sleeping. Don't want to have that. Now the thing is, I was at 220, right? Being at 220, I decided to keep my pump on a little bit extra, left it on an hour longer. Because I know that with my basal rate, that's about a third of the correction factor that I would need to come down from 220. So I left it on an hour longer, I went for a run, and now I have that pump disconnected. Because I went for the run, I know I'm gonna drop a little bit, and I'm giving myself at least an hour, maybe hour and a half, between taking my pump off and giving Melantis so that I know I don't have too much of an overlap, but I have a little bit of an overlap to take care of that high. So this is the math that goes on in my head. This is why I run these experiments. This is why I am excited. I'm nervous too, don't get me wrong, but I'm excited because I know that going into this test, I have two things going for me. One is my experience as a coach, right? I'm a diabetic health and fitness coach. This is what I do. I help people isolate variables in their blood sugar management and I help them correct it so they can get back to living their life fearlessly, doing what they want, enjoying life. Right? I just got back from Hawaii. I spent the almost the entire time when we were there a week in range with healthy blood sugars while hiking and swimming and jumping and all these fun stuff, right? That is what I do. But the second reason I'm confident this is gonna go well. It's right here. This is a book that I wrote. It's a health journal. 
And I'm going to use this to document my journey. Let's open it up to a daily page. See in here, we got spaces for your food, your mindset, your blood sugars, your exercise, what could be causing rises and drops, what's going on with your healthy habits, your sleep, your hydration, reflection on the day. Using this journal right here, the trending health journal that I wrote, I'm a little bit biased, I understand that, but using this health journal, I'm going to be able to see the trends and patterns. That's why it's called trending. You're looking for the trends and patterns in your blood sugar management. I'm going to be using that to document my journey, show you guys what's going on with my blood sugars. Uh, I anticipate the first couple of days being a little bit rough because I have not been on MDI for two years. I've been on the pump for two years. And uh, I'm assuming the transition is not going to go perfectly smooth as tonight is uh, a perfect testimony to that with my blood sugar running a bit high and having to run the test uh, kind of on a whim, like adapting as I go. Uh, but I have a few theories that I want to test and I'm very excited to see how those play out. I love to experiment on myself in this way with, of course, my doctor's overview, looking over permission, right? She, she's fully aware of, of the test that I'm running and she encourages it. She knows that I have extremely tight control of my blood sugars and that I won't be in danger at all. But with that being said, I am still a little bit nervous. So um, I posted about this on social media that I had a surprise, right? That I'm going to be changing something up, something big. And part of the reason why I did that is to keep myself accountable to actually doing it because I've been putting this off for a couple weeks now, um, making excuses that the timing wasn't right. And, oh, I can't do it because I have this event or I have this trip and all these things. Finally said, you know what? I'm going to post on social media, say I've got a big surprise going down Monday morning. It is now Sunday night and uh, I'm going to go for it. So wish me luck. Uh, I'm excited to share this journey with you so you can see what it looks like to transition from an insulin pump to insulin pens. I will be also giving my live reviews of the InPen, um, which is made in an attempt to bridge the gap between injections and pumps because it calculates for you and it syncs up with your phone. I'm very excited to test all of that out. Um, so that is essentially what's going on. That's the big deal. Uh, the big announcement is that I am shifting from an insulin pump over to MDI. So with that being said, I'm going to jump over. I'm going to take my first shot and jump into it. So uh, tune in for part two. I'm going to be documenting this journey every day. I don't know how often I'm going to upload these videos, but um, it will be a very interesting experiment. And the goal that I am going into this with is that I intend to prove that my... Yes. I'm sure I'm close to back in range now. <laughs> my goal behind this experiment is to prove that my formula and my method for blood sugar control surrounding exercise and activities is foolproof. It's worked for countless clients, but the majority of my clients have been on a pump. Only a few have been MDI. So I wanted to run the test on myself while going on MDI. I've proved to myself that I've mastered the pump with blood sugar control. Now I want to prove to myself and to the world that my formulas and my methods work for exercise activity and blood sugar control. So, here I am, Matt Vandevec, type 1 diabetic, telling you I am shifting over to MDI. I commit to this experiment, and I'm excited to see where it goes. Until next time, keep up the fight. All right, before I go, I should probably document this momentous occasion. Let's turn the lights down. There we go. Of me taking my pump side off, I think that's appropriate to put on the video, uh, considering this is the moment that I, there is no going back. I'm taking my pump side off, I'm setting it aside, I'm shutting it down. So here we go. Sorry if you're squeamish, just probably look away. You also probably shouldn't be on my videos if you don't like blood and stuff. Oh, we did it. I like to fold my needle down and then cover it, but I also use a sharps container. There we go. Here's my, my last insulin pump site for a while. For who knows how long. Goodness gracious. What have I done?